Black Women for Beginners by S. Pearl Sharp Illustrated by Beverly Hawkins Hall Black Women for Beginners Taking care of business. Con girl, working for the devil. Con girl, taking dictation like a bumblebee. Yeah, you make music on typewriter. Yeah, you make carbon copies sing. Yeah, you make work seem like a boogaloo now. Con girl. Ross Poet Ojenki from USA. Taking care of business also known as TCB. TCB means keeping your hands on some dollars. And the black woman has always known how to do that. This phenomena is called the black woman and the big money. A.Z. Taylor Morton, Maggie Walker, Queen Makeda, Mammy Pleasant, Biddy Mason, Madam Tinibu, May Mason, Madam C.J. Walker. This is a picture of A.Z. Taylor Morton. She was the 36th treasurer of the United States from 1977 to 1981 under President Jimmy Carter. And this is a picture of sculptor Selma Burke who designed the Franklin Delano Roosevelt dime in 1943. May B. Mason staked a gold claim in the Yukon Mining Territory in 1898, finding gold dust valued back then of $5,000. And the Dyna Bank made in England 1911. The eyes rolled back when a coin is placed in her mouth. Trinidadian Donne Moore heated up England with her bottled barbecue sauce, winning honors as a top businesswoman. There are moments in Nigeria to Madame Tinibu Ialode, monuments. In the early 1800s, she gained wealth as a middleman in slavery, later trading in war supplies. Walker's business employed over 3,000 black women. That's Madam C.J. Walker. Founded in 1905, its products are still sold today. We'll forgive Mr. Guinness for not being aware of Sister Makeda, Queen of Sheba back in the 900s BC. Her sharp business acumen made her exceedingly rich, possibly the richest African monarch ever. Slave Biddy Mason won her freedom, then made a fortune in real estate in early Los Angeles. TCB means tough, creative bargaining. In Africa, Women control the marketplace, setting prices and trade, much like Makeda did. Women in polygamous marriages might negotiate a good business setup in exchange for congenial acceptance of a new wife. Caribbean women have made the Higgler an institution, the grassroots businesswoman hawking her homegrown produce and notions. A banking system exists throughout the world. Partners in Jamaica, 
Susu, in Trinidad, where women combine their savings regularly, then each takes a draw to start a business, schooling, etc. Newly freed slaves in the U.S. developed it into the Freedmen's Bank system when whites would not make property loans to banks. This is a picture of Maggie Lena Walker. She turned a community's sick and burial fund into a thriving bank, become the U.S.'s first black woman bank president. This is an illustration of Rachel Pringle, Barbados's first hotel owner in 1781. History records that the son of King George III and his brawling friends tore up the place and kicked her out on the street. But she was cool. The prince was billed and paid for an extravagant remodeling job. TCB means taking care of the brothers and sisters. The Western media project the black woman as dependent on government and others' benevolence for survival. But the black woman has always initiated actions to take care of herself and her own. Madam Walker, a woman with no formal education, helped to fund Mary McLeod Bethune's school and scholarships at Tuskegee Institute. She gave cash bonuses to her agents to be used for company community upliftment. In the 1800s, women in Brazil formed Boa Morte, a secret society that fought slavery by buying the freedom of female slaves. In the U.S., a former slave, Jane Minor, saved her money and one by one bought up to 15 other slaves and set them free. And of course, Camille Cosby, with her husband, the Cos, in 1988, made the largest single contribution ever given to a black college, $20 million. TCB means doing your J-O-B. Black women are the hardest working women in the world. At six in the morning, through the streets of the city, a voice rings in the air, the cry of the vendor, Mari Morena. When a man of the press passes by you, he pretends not to hear, so that when you can no longer peddle the paper which he writes, you will be without a crumb and no one will subscribe to you. For four cents a paper, Mari Morena, the cloth of her shroud. A poem written by Virginia Brindis de Salas from Uruguay. Traditional work has been as farmers, hunters, healers, housekeepers and dressmakers, midwives and teachers. Traditional because for so long these were the only occupations available to her. I sell the shadow to support the substance, Sojourner Truth. The U.S. Army recruited African-American nurses for the Spanish-American War in 1898 because it was believed their race made them immune to typhoid fever. Susie King Taylor, that's her picture there. She was an ex-slave. She served as a volunteer nurse in the Civil War. <laughs> and by 1990, black women comprised almost 5% of the U.S. armed forces, trading the nurse's cap for a combat helmet. The Lady Marshal, in 1987, three black women in Nicaragua became the first local women to own their own fishing boat. See, as the principal food gatherer, she's learned the nature of plants, herbs, and roots, which made her the planet's first herbalists, first doctors. She served as unpaid mediator, strategist, cook, 
And this is a picture showing a black African woman's work and a European woman's work. It was a UNESCO analysis from 1975. Wasn't there any way she could make things easier? Well, yes. In 1916, Madeline Turner invented one of the first mechanized fruit juicers. And then Mary Jane Reynolds invented a hoisting and loading mechanism in 1920 that gets heavy loads onto trucks with ease. In developing countries, the black woman is the least likely to be trained for industrial and high-tech jobs and earns approximately one-half the income of black males and as little as 1% of the income of white males. In Tanzania, for African women in self-employment, access to capital and accumulation are further limited by government policies that favored the development of Tanzanian Asians as a commercial class. The segregated Asian schools specialized in commercial courses. Willene A. Johnson, Will, Women and Self-Employment in Urban Tanzania, 1971. My life is a dirty penny that is only valued because it is the only one. My life is but a 10 rand note that can be used only because there may be change. Zinzi Mandela from South Africa. Even in the wealthy USA, black women heading households earn only one third of what their white counterparts earn according to the 1988 census stats. TCB means test and challenge with beauty. The first Negro Hall of Fame. The first picture? Well, that's Bessie Coleman. She refused, she was refused flying privileges in the U.S., so she trained in France and in 1922 became the world's first black woman licensed pilot. And then the middle picture, well, that's Dr. May C. Jemison, the world's first black female astronaut, trained for five years before making her first shuttle space flight in the Endeavor in September 1992. And the bottom picture, actually on the left, is Ula May Margie Scott, born in Russia, who joined the famed Bolshoi Ballet in the 1940s when she was eight and became its first black woman, ballerina, and choreographer. We can't forget Soraya Bonali. She was a French figure skater and in 1991 became the first black woman European figure skating champion. And with the robes, well, that's Barbara C. Harris, the right reverend, who beat down 2,000 years of resistance, becoming the first woman bishop in the Episcopal Church in 1989. We specialize in the holy impossible. That's Nanny Helen Burroughs. She was at the National Trade and Professional School for Women and Girls. Someone out there is blowing his mind, keeping track of the first Negro in every line. She served as the cultural bearer, breaking social taboos and racial barriers with a song. Tonight only, Cuban conductor Tanya Leon and the Hieroglyphic Art Ensemble. TCB, taking care of business, is notifying the world about what's on her mind. The black woman can claim writing as a profession, going back to Sappho, Greece's gifted aristocrat, that's 600s BC, described by other writers as small, dark, Ethiopian, and not beautiful. Who wrote that? Brazil's Maria 
Doreas, author of the novel Ursula, and the USA's Harriet Wilson, author of Our Nig, are the first black women known to publish novels, both in 1859. The black woman is both a ship and a safe harbor. Well, that's the cover with novelist Toni Morrison. Afro-Russian journalist Yelena Kanga is the only black journalist to cover the historic 1988 Reagan-Gorbachev summit. I'm black by birth and Russian by soul. We then move on to Virginia Brindis de Salas, a poet journalist of Uruguay, writing about the harshness of women's lives, is among the first Afro-Latin women to receive literary acclaim. I go everywhere without hesitation. Hallelujah! Louise Bennett, Jamaica's foremost poet, and folklorist, has popularized Jamaican dialect in her writings since the 1930s. Neck and neck and foot and foot, man, man. she buckle all her own, while man call her so-so rib, oh man, a tomb backbone. The work of journalists was documented by Mrs. N.E. Massel in 1894. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, take care of T-C-B. A woman said to me the other day, I read one of your poems about woman. I thought it very good, but it didn't say that you were black. Now I meet you, and I see that you are black. I wonder why you wrote the poem. Do they think we spend our whole lives being black for them? Bobby Sykes, Australia. And that is the end of Taking Care of Business. I look forward to seeing you again next week when we will go into the reality that Divas don't die. Woman to woman now, we tell our beads on the worn rosary of years. Together in the same slant of light, no longer clay and potter, we are what we have made each other. Your mark indelibly on me, as mine on you. See you next week. And remember, if you've been changed, moved, lift, or learn something new from Black Women for Beginners, let me know. Let me know. Send me a text, write it down below, and we will see you next week. Take care.